All right, so let's keep the fun rolling. I have the very distinct pleasure to introduce our homecoming court segment. Now, this longstanding tradition is celebrating 41 years of royalty, and today we'll take a quick look then and now. Homecoming uh, is an alumni tradition, but as we see here, it is also most certainly a student tradition bringing us together. Let's take a look at the video of some of the past winners. You know, it's, uh, it's an incredible sight to see all of these student leaders who have been recognized over the years. Uh, the way it usually goes is uh, student leaders, uh-oh, I see someone familiar there on the right. Um, yeah, that is me. And I'm happy to say that I was a member of the homecoming court oh, 20 years ago. And some of the other members of the court are still uh, very, very close friends of mine which I'm very proud of, uh, Anteater Connections lifelong. Um, I want to also acknowledge some other uh, winners of this contest in the past. We have the 2002 homecoming king 20 years ago in the audience today, Ravi Valetti. Ravi, thank you for joining us. And I know you're gonna be joining us at the class reunions program next. So uh, 20 years later, here you are. Love to see that, um, but it, it, it is a great thing because student groups get behind the homecoming court nominees and there's contests all throughout the week. Those were going on this week too on campus in front of the student center behind me here. And we have now arrived at uh, the moment where we're going to recognize all of the uh, members of the homecoming court. So I'd now like to bring back this year's Campus Spirit Commissioners, Josh Morrell and Brianna Baker, who are gonna share more about this year's homecoming court. Take it away, Josh and Brianna. Hello everyone, my name is Josh Morrell. My pronouns are he, him, his. I'm a fourth year psychological sciences major and I'm one of the co-commissioners of Campus Spirit and Wellbeing. And my name is Brianna Baker and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a second year student majoring in education sciences and I'm the other co-commissioner for Campus Spirit and Wellbeing. It's been our pleasure to collaborate with the UCI Alumni Association to bring the annual homecoming court tradition to our anteaters once again, virtually. Campus Spirit and Wellbeing is one of the six commissions under ASUCI's Office of Student Services. Prior to being co-commissioners for Campus Spirit and Wellbeing, Josh and I had the pleasure of serving as interns during our first years in the Office of Student Services, and we've decided to come back and serve as commissioners for the school year. Homecoming is one of our favorite events, and we're very grateful to be granted the opportunity of continuing this tradition and partnership. Homecoming is a chance for us to celebrate our current students and their accomplishments through the annual Homecoming Court tradition. Every year, our Campus Spirit and Wellbeing Commission works very hard to select a group of students to be in our Homecoming Court. Our lovely interns organize and host a fun spirit week leading up to the Homecoming weekend where the contestants can showcase themselves and gather up as many votes as possible by playing games with students. Voting was available through Facebook event pages, our AACCI website, and YouTube video streams, and it was almost too close to call. This year's 2022 Homecoming Court consists of a great group of graduating students who are highly qualified and representative of UCI's diverse student body. Throughout their careers at UCI, these students have taken the initiative to continuously be involved and embody what it means to be an anteater. These individuals have been selected from an extremely competitive pool of students for their unique involvements and contributions to UCI. We will be announcing the homecoming court winners right now, rather than in person at the basketball game. Without further ado, we present to you our 2022 homecoming court contestants. Hey everyone, my name is Edith Guadalupe Garcia. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am currently a criminology, law, and society and political science double major. The reason why I'm running for Homecoming Crown is because I wanted to share my transformative story here at UCI and really inspire others to follow their passions and to give back to the communities that have built them up to where they are today. And 
I come from a family of immigrants, so I am a first-generation student. So when I did arrive on campus, I had really bad imposter syndrome. And the growth that I have had since then is thanks to the communities here that I have been a part of at UCI. I am currently a resident advisor here in Middle Earth Student Housing at Elrond. Shout out to all my Elrondians here. And I am also part of the Campus-Wide Honors Collegium on campus, which has really helped me push myself academically and really show me what I'm capable of. Uh, during my free time, I enjoy painting. This is some of my work here. And I love hanging out with my friends, getting a, a bite to eat and carpool karaoke and just singing our lungs out. I really hope that I am able to get your vote for this year's Homecoming Crown. And thank you so much for listening. I love you all and saw on. Hello, everyone. My name is Chelsea, pronoun she or hers. I'm a third year graduating this spring with a double major in political science and criminology. And just a quick thing about me is that I'm a part of multiple campus organizations here at UCI that made me feel home away from home. And one of them is being Kababayan at UCI, others being Phi Alpha Delta, Gamma Phi Beta, being a CA here at Plaza Verde, um, and just multiple more. And they made me feel like they were my family, and I'm glad that they are a part of my life and my undergraduate career. Um, so yeah, I love going out with my friends, trying new food places, uh, going to Disneyland, and just enjoying night drives with them and doing carpool karaoke. So yeah, it was nice meeting y'all. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hafen, and I'm running for homecoming court. I've been an ant eater since 2017, and I am originally from San Diego, first generation Latina, part of the LGBTQ community. In the last five years here at UCI, I've represented my community through many involvements, including ASUCI, DDI, SAP, SARC, um, UTeach, UROP, many others, including the women's rugby team here at UCI, where I have been alumni chair and social chair. Uh, but beyond that, I'm excited to be part of Homecoming Court, and I hope you vote for me, and I'll see you at Homecoming Weekend. Hi, everyone. I'm Kamala Shantakrishnan. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm a fourth-year biomedical engineering major here at UCI. Besides building stuff, some of my hobbies include playing basketball, traveling around, and taking part in some occasional improv. I'm very excited for Homecoming this year, and I really look forward to spending it with my fellow ant eaters. Jonah, it's time for your intro. Hi, my name is Jonah Pshibishevsky, and I'm a fourth year psychology major, pronouns he and his, and I'm on the homecoming court with all these other great candidates that are running. You've probably seen me on campus, whether you like it or not. I am a campus representative, so giving tours, walking backwards, all that stuff. I'm a resident advisor here in Mesa Court, so I'm looking after all my pesky little residents. Love you all, though. I am part of the club volleyball team, as well as a few comedy teams here at UCI. I am the captain of UCI's sketch comedy team, Solstice League. Go to Solstice, shameless plugs. And as well as Improv Revolution, our improv team at UCI as well. Super excited to be a part of the homecoming court. And you can vote for me by clicking here. Just kidding, there's nothing that's going to happen. Go to my Facebook page and like my YouTube video to vote for me if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Dion Pronouns I am his, a current fifth year transfer student studying social policy and public service, double major in education. A fun fact about me is I'm originally from the Philippines and then I'm from the Bay Area, and that fun fact is the reason why I love UCI. I can basically see those two communities merge into one space, such as Covina UCI, Alpha Omega, and NOF, and bring comfort to me wherever I go. I'm so excited for homecoming this year, and I'm so happy to be a part of homecoming court this year. Hey y'all, my name is Jasmine McGarry. I am a third year psychological science major and African American studies minor here at UC Irvine. Um, I'm so excited to be running for this year's 2022 Homecoming Crown. Um, and I can't wait to participate in Spirit Week and see all of your lovely faces at our homecoming game. I also hope to receive all of your support throughout this campaigning process and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi everybody, my name is Ethan Chan. I am a fourth year first generation college student majoring in pharmaceutical science here at UCI and I go by he and his pronouns. I am super excited and blessed to have the opportunity to be a part of the 2022 homecoming court. I would like to give a special shout out to my closest friends Sharon and Atnal 
for pushing me to do this whole thing in the first place. Throughout my time here at UCI, I've acquired so many fond memories and friends through the various communities I can now call a second family. UCI Summer Session, the Southeast Asian Student Association, Free Farm Society, as well as the Cambodian Awareness Organization have all made me the most sentimental person in the world. And I am so excited to be a part of Homecoming Week this year, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for your continued love and support. Thank you guys. What an incredible group of students to represent the homecoming court. Uh, I'm glad we got to learn just a little bit about them. But now we are going to announce the winners of the homecoming court. Sorry, but we can only have two. As impressive as the court has been, uh, the winners, the first winner of the homecoming court this year, 2022, is Dion Medina. Congratulations, Dion. Very happy for you. The second winner of Homecoming Court 2022 is Jasmine McGarry. Congratulations, Jasmine. Congrats to our Homecoming Court winners. Congratulations to all of the Homecoming Court nominees and members. Uh, it, it really takes a lot to put yourself out there and you all had tons of support from your student organization, so congratulations. Now, uh, we are going to come down to the end of the homecoming virtual program. I cannot believe that. We've been going for- So I just found out the amazing news. Before, we're gonna listen to Jasmine. I'm grateful and I feel humbled by this experience. Um, Y'all, I am just so grateful for all of your love and support. Uh, big shout out to all of our homecoming court. You guys are amazing. Um, shout out to my campaign manager, Bonnie, and friends who truly went out of their way to support me throughout this process and family as well. I love you all. And thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone supporting me this past few weeks and supporting me to be a part of homecoming world this year. I want to make a big shout out to my campaign manager, Bernice, for helping me throughout this whole process and answering any questions that I had. I want to make a big shout out to my support system back home, both family and friends, for just believing in me and everything that I wanted to do. I want to make a big shout out to everyone that I met in undergrad, both at community college and at UCI. My interactions with everyone shaped who I am today, and I am very grateful for all the experience I had with all of you. Uh, this win is not just a win for me, it is a win for my first generation students, it is a win for my low income students, a win for my transfer students, and a win for my immigrant students, a win for my students who work two to three jobs to support themselves and their family, a win for students who thought that they could never go to college but kept persisting and are now succeeding. And lastly, this is a win for me. This is a uh, win for all the hard work that I had throughout undergraduate, and I'm so thankful for all of your support. Mahal ko kayo. Congratulations once again, Jasmine and Dion. Uh, you are homecoming royalty and in the history books for UCI. Congratulations. Now we're uh, gonna wind down, but before we do, Everyone who is still in the audience gets to play along. We are going to have a UCI trivia contest from home. Two winners are going to take home our grand prizes. If any of you have attended our alumni trivia nights in the past, you'll remember how this works. So everyone jump on a screen, whether it's your mobile device or computer, and you're going to play our trivia game using a program called Mentimeter. With Mentimeter, you'll be able to play from your uh, smartphone, any kind of secondary device. We'll be sharing the game screen here in the Zoom. So you definitely wanna stay here, but you'll be able to answer all of the trivia questions on your own device. So go ahead and pull that uh, website up. As you can see um, on the screen at the very top, it is menti.com, that's menti.com. When you get there, it's gonna ask you for a code. You also see that code at the top. It is 37334399. That is the code for our homecoming trivia game. So go ahead and join that. Um, this will all bring us into a, a singular virtual game room so we can play together. So the next step will be to update your player name. You may, may have received a prompt on your phone where you can type in your name 
please do so. And if we can see your real name, that'll tell us who is playing and then we'll be able to track the winners and have a little fun with it. We have a round of multiple choice questions of trivia for you this evening. Each question we will ask will be multiple choice. Now, uh, you'll receive more points the faster you enter a correct answer. So you really want to get the answer correct. And then secondarily, you want to be fast because that will give you more points. Another item to note is that at the end of the game, we'll be awarding prizes to the top two winners. These prizes are the first place grand prize, a silver iPad mini. Wow, that's a huge prize. Okay, iPad mini plus a $25 gift card to the UCI bookstore, The Hill, and a Julia Gash branded uh, UCI mouse pad, as you see there, uh, an artistic take from artist Julia Gash on our campus. The second place grand prize winner is gonna win two tickets to a Clippers game this season, generously donated by the Manhattan Stitching Company, a small basketball to practice with, and two UCI clear tote bags to show off at the game. Give it a minute, uh, we're gonna let folks in. And let's see if, yep, looks like we got a lot of hearts coming in. And we should be seeing the player bubbles come in. Oh yeah, ooh boy, we have a lot of players. Competition's gonna be a little stiff for this. Let's see. Remember, you're gonna wanna answer correct, correctly, but also answer fast. Now, we're gonna have a check-in on the leaderboard after every two questions. So we'll be able to see um, who's moving um, into the lead. Okay, it can be anyone's game. Let's see if we have all the players in just yet. I think it has slowed down. So I think we have everyone in who's gonna be playing. Why don't we go ahead and get this game started? Everyone who was in the student alumni competition Oh, first question. Peter the Anteater will celebrate his 57th birthday in 2022 on which date? What date is Peter's birthday? July 21st, September 1st, or November 30th? Time's up. Oh, yeah. Many of you were thrown off by that. November 30th. He celebrates his birthday in late November every year, marking the date that the students voted for the anteater as the school's mascot, which is a, a, a famous part of UCI lore. Soon after school opened up in 1965, it was November 30th that that vote was finalized. So only 17 got it correct. So we are going to move on to the next question. This one might be a little easier. In fact, those of you who are in the student alumni competition, you better get this one right. Or you're not winning an iPad. I guarantee. In what year was UCI founded? 1965, 1900, or 1950? I, I really hope we get a 100% correct answer on this one. I may have even just said it. After the last question, did I say the year? Tell me in the chat if I did. Yeah, it is easy, Neha. Boom. Oh, <laughs> we didn't quite get 100%. We got about 98 point whatever, 99% correct, 1965. That is when UCI opened its doors. Okay. Are we going to check in on the leaderboard? We're going to check in on the leaderboard. After two questions, who is in first place? Pingu, followed by Priscilla S. You two are in pole position. Not far behind Cheryl G, Jonathan Clinton, Rajiv. Okay, you're the top five. We've got some competitors, though, right behind you. So remember, get the question right, but then do it fast, and then you can move up that leaderboard. Let's move on to question three. We're not going to play the... Uh, media, but can you finish the lyric from the UCI fight song? Hopefully some of you know this. Go mighty anteaters go, beat each opposing foe. Oh, we'll win the battle tonight. Then what? This is the bit, this is the song that the band plays at athletics events, at the basketball games. You'll hear it, play it in your head. What are the words? 
U C I fight. Yeah, okay, very impressive. Most of you got that one. Congratulations. We've got some uh, knowledgeable anteaters in the audience today. Question four, true or false? Head coach Ben Orloff, who was on the uh, panel earlier today, became the first person in Big West history to win player of the year and coach of the year for the same school. Context clues, give it away. And if you were here earlier, you know the answer to this. He is our head coach and he is an alumnus, as you can see from his uh, playing years, when he looked a little bit younger, he might've had a little more hair back then, maybe. Correct answer is true. Yes, most of you got that. I think many of you saw his coaches panel today. He's one of many Anteater alumni who are head coaches of our athletics programs. So he won player of the year in 2009 and coach of the year last year in 2021 when the team made it to the uh, regional playoff. All right, are we gonna do a leaderboard check-in next? Has there been a shakeup? Ooh, ooh, let's see what happened. There has been a shakeup. Cheryl G has catapulted into first place Kamalish in second. Okay. Okay. I think maybe our top two fell out of the top 10. Kaylin Hoy following right behind the third. Annie, Priscilla still up there. Okay. We have ourselves a competition. Very good. Very good. Two more questions, y'all. So let's, let's get these right. Question number five. If it is a pride of lions and a nest of snakes, what is a group of anteaters called? Is it a colony, a candle, or a gang? You know, you would have a leg up if you did attend one of our previous trivia nights. We do uh, alumni trivia nights on a, a virtual program. They can be a lot of fun. We give out a lot of prizes. Colony, candle, or gang? This one's tricky. Ooh, most of you got it wrong. It is a candle. A candle of anteaters, that makes perfect sense. No, I'm sure we're gonna have a shake up on the leaderboard here. Okay, final question, bring your A game. How many different species of eucalyptus trees live in Aldrich Park? Beautiful Aldrich Park. For those alumni uh, older than me, uh, it used to be called Central Park on campus. And uh, of course, for much of our history, it's been Aldridge Park, known for having this many species of eucalyptus trees, 33, 50, or 100. While well, Aldridge Park has more than 11,120 trees, 33 species of eucalyptus. Okay, that was it. That was the last question. By the way, the entire campus has more than 24,000 trees on campus. Uh, spread out, we have uh, campus spread out over more than 1,500 acres. Okay, let's take a look at the final leaderboard and crown our uh, champions with the two grand prize winners. Okay, okay. Oh, Kaylin fell out of first place. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We have Penelope Wong. Congratulations. Penelope, you came from behind. Man, that is awesome. Kudos to you. You have your, your uh, thinking cap on tonight. Anteater Trivia, you are the champion for homecoming 2022. Second place, Alex. Oh, hello there, Alex. Alex, let me tell you, Alex is a veteran of UCI Trivia, and uh, I appreciate you coming back to claim yet another prize. Alex is always here when uh, there are prizes to be won. Good to see you. But congratulations, Penelope. You edged Alex out by one point. Oh, my God. 49.65 to 49.64. <laughs> so close to that iPad. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. Kudos to everyone who knew all the answers. Thank you for playing with us. Thank you, Peter. Uh, we've marked you down, and uh, we'll confirm those prizes. Now, that actually brings us to the end of the 2022 virtual homecoming program. 
I want to thank everyone for joining us, uh, staying here till the end. I want to thank our uh, sponsors one more time, Geico, Bank of America, Mountain Dew, for helping put this program on for us this year. We do really hope that we're going to have homecoming in person again next year. There's nothing like it when we can get back together on campus, and we really hope you'll join us then. Check out the Alumni Association website, alumni.uci.edu, for uh, a plethora of additional events, engagement opportunities, ways that you can get involved to help students, to network with other alumni, to find mentors yourself. We have all of that, and we want to uh, continue to support you throughout life, our students and alumni. Now, if you're celebrating a reunion year, don't go anywhere. Uh, you're going to have to go somewhere, but don't leave yet. If your uh, class year ends in the number two or seven, or you're a class of 2021 graduate, I invite everyone to join us to our class reunions virtual program, which is going to start like right now. So uh, we'll begin as soon as we hop off this Zoom. There's a different Zoom link for the class years. Now, uh, one final goodbye to everyone who's not in their class years. Thank you so much for attending homecoming. The UCI Alumni Association is here for you. Have a fantastic weekend and then come and uh, support our athletics teams next week as we make a push to the playoffs. We're gonna do another virtual watch party series for the Big West Tournament basketball playoffs. That'll start on March 10th. We'll see you then. Thank you everyone. Zot, zot, zot. And now, reunions, class years, we're going to move over to that one. So I'm going to sign off. Thank you.